Now Patel, two for 27 off his seven. He's done a tidy job. Just near as the one that's got a little bit of tap again. Every single run is being cheered. He wants to try and come back for the second, decides against correctly. This is the telling over. South Africa get through this one. They've got a very good chance of winning it. Zaya Khan is the trump card for MS Dhoni. Cheer again from the capacity crowd of the Wanderers. High percentage of them on their feet, such as the nervous tension. Got to get a second slip in as well. Wickets is what India need. Just the one catcher first slip in position there is a short mid wicket but second slip it's a good idea against the left-hander the single just a boundary away now no sweeper on the offside So two balls left now, there we go, that's what she's saying, just uh, hit that boundary, bring up the victory, make it 2-0. Two, two balls left in the 42nd over, two balls left in Zahir Khan's ninth over, it's walk on strike, concentration. That's a good idea, I want to walk or sometimes vulnerable against short pitch bowling, doesn't play the pull shot that well, so it was well worth a go. He has been tempted to play the pull shot in the past, we all know that. Once one, straight at the fielder, but sent back by Barnell. A loud yelp from the non striker, 187 for eight. It's just four runs, that's all they need. Plenty of overs to go but only two wickets in hand. The flags are flying, most of them, as you'd expect at this ground. Our South African flags, they are trying to steer the boys home, and it's Munaf Patel who's back into the attack now. He's done a good job tonight, picked up two for 27. It's bowled pretty well through the left-handers as well. So what a game we've had. What a month we've had. On to the pad, I think, and as old as a single. MS Dhoni doing the right thing, bringing the fielders in. Still fancy a second slip. And they've done remarkably well, if you think about it, India, to get back into this game really has surprised a lot of people a wicket there is another wicket Munaf Patel has picked up a wicket he's back into the attack goodness me the Indians are celebrating the middle now that is nine down there's still three runs needed for victory so Tsobi is the last man who's going to come out that is a huge wicket Mora Moko looking to finish it in one hit but he couldn't get over the top of it the drive easy shot but that wasn't full enough so the breakthrough comes, the drama continues. Morno Morkel has gone for six, 188 for nine. It's a cliffhanger. Lonwabo Tsutsobi has arrived, number 11, a genuine number 11. Four wickets, and he bowled so superbly. A long conversation between him and Wayne Parnell before Tsutsobi arrived at the batting end. Goodness me, what about this for pressure? Three to win, plenty of balls. A tie is a tie, of course. There's no super over. There's no replays. India 
will be desperate to pick up a quick wicket now. They want to wrap this up. We have got pressure galore. There is tension on the faces. One up to to Sotsobi. On the front foot, middle of the bat. Big cheer of the Wanderers. Well, Robert Sotsobi has had a great evening. He bowled superbly. Caught his terrific catch as well. And this is why he's there. Mono Morkel trying to get the boundary but not getting over the top of it. it wasn't full enough for the drive. So Munaf Patel strikes again. He's bowled superbly for India. Has he got one? Yes, he has. He's off the mark of the single to Torby. If there was a roof for the Wanderers, it would have just come off. So just two to win now. Two deliveries left in this over. Wayne Parnell on strike. Wow, what a finish. We have seen some extraordinary cricket over the last month. Another magnificent game here at the Wanderers. Fight back from India after being totally outplayed in the first one in Durban. And there's tension in that change room, that's for sure. Brings Parnell back on strike. That's the important thing from Tutsori's point of view. Zaya Khan wants a crack at Sotsobe. He's got one over left. One delivery left in this over. Can Wayne Parnell finish it now? Yeah, this is going to be uh, very interesting what uh, Emma Stoney does. The bottom line here is they cannot afford to give away a single. Scores will be level then need to make sure that Parnell doesn't score a run with this delivery last ball the over from Patel goodness me wow this is extraordinary that is it it is sensational stuff here at the Wanderers Parnell cannot believe what's happened the celebrations have begun for India I can imagine that all around the cricketing world people are out of their chairs this has been an extraordinary an extraordinary game here at the Wanderers. Brilliant stuff from India. They win by one run. What a moment. Wayne Parnell is absolutely devastated. He thought he got that through, but he didn't. Went straight to Gully and a terrific catch. Yuvraj Singh. South Africa devastated. They should have won this game. They bowled well. They fielded well. They had it in their grasp. Wow, South Africa lost their last six wickets for 37 runs. Parnell will be absolutely devastated. This has gone down to the absolute wire. Patel sensational. And he got before for 29. And here's a look at what happened to finish the game.